my brothers and sisters in Islam, when a person falls sick and ill, this is the time to explore and discover the beauty of Allah's name, Ash-Shafi, the healer. Allahu Akbar, this is a time. And so it is important to know, what are we supposed to do when we become sick? Listen to this incredible hadith. In Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that there is no calamity that afflicts the believer, whether this calamity is a wasab. Wasab is a chronic illness, a permanent sickness. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, any believer who is afflicted, he's tested with wasab, meaning a permanent illness that has no cure until today. Wala nasab, and any kind of fatigue or tiredness that you experience. Wala saqam, and any kind of temporary sickness. Saqam could be a headache, could be a toothache, could be anything, could be a fever. Wala huzn, and even sadness, any form of sadness that the believer experiences as a result of his sickness. Hatta al-hamma yuhammuhu, even the depression and the sadness that befalls a person. All of this, whenever it afflicts a believer, what's the result? And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, and he adds one more thing, Hatta shawkata yushakuha, even if you are pricked by a thorn, anything of this sort that a believer experiences, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wipes away, expiates his sins or from his sins. Allahu Akbar. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in another authentic hadith, that Allah azza wa jal will continue to afflict a person with calamity and sicknesses and illness until he begins to walk on earth and he has no sin to his name whatsoever. He walks on earth sinless, Allahu Akbar. That could be achieved as a result of all these calamities that you remain patient upon. And you call through Allah's name, Ash-Shafi, to cure you. We're going to speak about this, how we do so. These kind of illnesses and sicknesses, all of them become a source of good for you. And what are we supposed to do when we are sick? And so it is important to know, what are we supposed to do when we become sick, when we fall ill? And this is bound to happen. You will experience sickness and illness in your life. We ask Allah Azza wa to give us shifa. The first and foremost thing that a sick person is supposed to do, listen carefully. And I'm going to yani, share with you a hadith so that this point, I can drive it into your mind and into your heart. The first absolute thing is ad-du'a. One of the best dua you could ever make, Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afiyah. And this is a authentic hadith. Oh Allah, I ask you for complete protection in my health and everything. Number two dua was, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Give us a hasana in this life. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as in this authentic hadith, whenever he would visit a sick, or whenever a sick person would come to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, would put his hand on the sick person and he would say, Allahumma rabban nas, adhhib al-baas, wa shfihi anta shafi la shifa'a illa shifa'uk, shifa'a la yughadiru saqama, Allahu Akbar. This is a great dua. It is the best dua to make when a person is sick. Let's explore this dua. Why am I telling you this is the best dua? Because within this dua, we find the name of Allah, Ash-Shafi. Allahumma shfihi anta shafi Allahu Akbar. Anyway, this dua begins by you saying, Allahumma rabban nas. Oh Allah, and you are the Lord of mankind. This is the beginning of a dua. So now I want you to imagine, you're sick, someone is sick, and you raise your hands and you say, Allahumma rabban nas. Oh Allah, Lord of mankind. In other words, from the very beginning of the dua, you are recognizing and acknowledging Allah's greatness. You are invoking and supplicating to Allah through His name, Ar-Rabb, the Master, the Lord of everything. Now, as you're weak and as you're sick, look how huge these words are. You're saying, Rabban Nas, you're the Lord of mankind. It's like you're saying, my sickness is nothing. Oh Allah, my sickness is something easy for you to cure and for you to heal for me. Every sickness Allah Azza wa knows about. Allahumma rabban nas. He is the Lord of everyone. This is the powerful dua. Then you say, adhhib al bas Straight away, ask what you want from Allah. Now that you acknowledged and you recognize that Allah Azza wa is the Lord of mankind and He is the Lord of everything, 
Immediately you say after it, Afhibil bas. Remove my sickness, Ya Allah. Remove my illness, Ya Allah. Remove it completely. Adhib to remove it, to move it. So you're one side and the sickness is gone totally on another side. It dis disappears from your body altogether. That's what Adhibil bas means. And then, Ishfi anta shafi. Cure me. Heal me. Why? Because anta shafi. You're the one who cures. You're the one who heals. Allahu Akbar. Now my brothers and sisters in Islam, from the names of Allah is Ash-Shafi. What does Ash-Shafi mean? You know the word Ash-Shafi, it comes from the word Shafa. And Shafa is the edge of something. So when you say, Oh Allah, give me Shifa. Ishfi anta Ash-Shafi. You're asking, Oh Allah, take me to the edge. In other words, it's as though you are in danger. And you're asking, oh Allah, take me out of this danger and bring me to the edge of safety. Bring me to the edge of Ash-Shifa, to the edge of safety, Allahu Akbar. That is Ash-Shifa, that is the name of Allah, Ash-Shafi. The one who takes you out of the danger of this sickness and illness you're in. And he takes you all the way to the edge of safety, to the land of safety, Allahu Akbar. And health and strength and power, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Powerful name of Allah, Ishfi Anta Shafi. And then you say after this, La Shifa'a illa Shifa'uk. There is no cure at all. There is no treatment except your cure, except your Shifa. Know, my brothers and sisters in Islam, that the diseases of the heart, like envy, jealousy, hypocrisy, arrogance, these are all diseases of the heart. They are much worse and more dangerous to the human being, to the believer. There are names of Allah Azza wa Jal that you and I could never live without. There are names of Allah that if Allah Azza wa Jal did not name himself with this name, you and I would have been miserable in our life. Such names are like his name Ash-Shafi, Al-Ghafoor, Al-Rahim. These are names, Wallahi, we couldn't live without. The name of Allah Ash-Shafi, we would have definitely perished without this name. Ash-Shafi is the one that's going to cure you from every sickness, especially the diseases and the sicknesses of the heart. Raise your hand and say, Allahumma, ya shafi, ishfi qalbi, wa tahir qalbi, min al ghilli, wal hasad, wal riya, wal kibr, wal nifaq. Oh Allah, purify and cleanse and clean my heart from hypocrisy and jealousy and envy and arrogance. Ask Allah Azza wa Jal, because it is only Allah Azza wa Jal who can cure the heart from these diseases. We hope you will continue to enjoy our content. Don't forget to subscribe. And by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button, you will receive updates and notifications. Thank you.